This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. With Hack 5, I'm Shannon Morris from CES 2014 at Digital Experience. It's the Wizard of Oz year. And I found Mike from Revolve. Hi, Mike. How are you? Good. Shannon, how are you? Doing great, thank you. Now, Revolve, I hear that this is going to make my life so much easier. I'm excited. Please tell me how this makes my life easier. Well, Revolve is essentially a smart home automation solution focused on taking those premium devices like Philips Hue, Yale Locks, Nest, and Sonos, bringing them all together under a single application and then allowing you to automate them in, in ways that you can't do with just a single native application that comes with those. Oh, that's excellent. I have like 10 of these apps sitting around at home because like I have the Hue, I have Sonos, and it drives me nuts that I have to skip from one app to another. So is this easy for consumers? It's really easy. And actually, again, it's a direct-to-consumer play. So if you want, I'll walk you through how easy it is. We, we pride ourselves on 60-second setup, and you'll be up and running, discovering the devices and being able to control them. OK, I'm counting. Do it. <laughs> All right. So. I'm going to reset the app here, and the first thing that you'll see is that uh, we essentially allow you to just plug in the hub in a central location in the home. You're not tied to your router, which is often in the basement or some obscure place. And the reason why is we want to get the best signal to talk to all the devices that you have. So the key, though, is getting this on your local Wi-Fi network. And what we've done is created a proprietary technology that essentially takes uh, your Wi-Fi credentials that you have on your, wi on your iPhone or iPad and then transfers that optically to the hub. So if we just enter our password, hit done, we place the iPad right over the hub and optically it's transmitting the data to the hub. And within 30 seconds, we'll get notification that the hub is now on your local Wi-Fi network. And as soon as it does, it'll automatically start discovering these great devices like Sonos, Nest, Philips Hue, yeah, and it's a huge success. Huge success. The cake is not a lie. <laughs> I love that reference. I'm glad, I'm glad. We have a lot of fun engineers on our team, I can tell you. So as soon as you have it on your local Wi-Fi ne wi network, we already uh, find devices like Sonos, Nest, and Philips Hue. And then we can go in and add other ones, you know, like Belkin Wemo and Insteon and some other devices. And uh, you can uh, certainly control them. So like, um, you know, I can go into the Philips Hue. I can pick a, uh, a different color here, like green, and you can see it automatically changes. We can close down the lock by du just double clicking here and the lock will change and we can even um, you know, turn on our music here uh, with Sonos and start playing songs. So that's really cool, but what's even cooler is when you can get all these devices uh, under what we call automated actions. That's, so I have the I'm coming home story here. And that is that when I arrive home, I'll hit a geolocation with the phone in my pocket, and it'll automatically set my thermostat, raise the temperature, turn on my lights, unlock the doors, and play my favorite music. So when I'm straight from your app, so I don't have to go into the Nest app to get all this to work for me. Not only not having to open an app, but the phone's in your pocket, so it just stays there ambiently talking to our cloud services. So yes, you're right. You don't have to use the Nest app, nor do you even have to open our app to control those things. So it's really about geolocation and automating around you and your lifestyle. Now, how many companies does this work with? Just the six, or are there more? We're really focused uh, primarily on these premium connected home devices that are really driving the, the smart home automation market. But that said, we work with about 20 different companies and about 50 different devices currently. So we have about seven radios in our hub. Only three of them are active, so eventually we'll be able to work with hundreds of devices. And is this product secure for me to use in my household? It really is. Because we're under your, your firewall inside your, your Wi-Fi network, not only that, but all uh, communications between uh, the app and the hub are encrypted. So we're very secure as a system as well. That's always great to hear for our Hack5 audience. Now, when can people get this and how much does it cost? So what's really great is we're already selling. We released two months ago in November, and we're excited. Where you can go is to revolve.com. That's revolve without an E. Uh, or you can go to amazon.com. And I'm happy to say at our announcement at CES, we'll be available in Home Depot stores coming up at the end of January into February. Congratulations. That's exciting. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to add to this? You know, I think it's just fun when you start thinking about the connected home, and it's really fun to get one, two, three, or four devices, but what's really fun is when you can unify them under one umbrella, and then really start, again, automating around you and your lifestyle, but then 
where we really want to take the technology is where it fades into the background and it starts to kind of understand you and will automatically just kind of work around you and your lifestyle. So that's where it's going to be fun. I totally agree with that. Thank you so much, Mike. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And if you would like some more CES coverage, you can go over to revision3.com slash CES 2014. Bye. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.